Hello and welcome to our preparation video for Tamiya Renault RE20 Turbo Formula 1 car. Starting off with pulling everything off the sprue, I always start with the bodywork, the main panels. Uh, to me the bodywork's make or break in terms of painting and putting it all together, so if I can get that right at the start, the rest should follow suit, hopefully. Um, this is the most time consuming part I think is getting the bodywork ready. Yeah, you notice here I'm cutting a little far away from the actual piece itself. It's always wise, so you don't pinch the plastic. That way you can sand it down and get it nice and smooth. Here I decided just on the uh, chassis and on the main bodywork to just um, etch out the, the lines that were um, in the moulding themselves, denoting areas to be painted. I was worried that if I sanded it all down, I'd lose that and wouldn't be able to see it uh, once I got the primer and paint on. So I used a piece of paper here and just etched it out with some lead pencil. Just as a backup, I guess you could call it. If I need it, it's there, the shape's there, and I can replicate it quite easily. So once that was done, we move on to the, the actual parts themselves. I generally sand away the edges, get it all nice and smooth, and then I'll etch out uh, the bevels with a very sharp knife pen. Again, working piece by piece, getting it nice and right. Take your time. Also pull out some bits that you know need to be fitted. Make sure it all fits. The more effort you put in here at the start, the better your end result is, that is for sure. Moving on to the side skirts here, a little bit of uh, Tamiya white putty was used to uh, seal up the gaps here. This stuff's pretty good for that sort of work. If there's a gap larger than half a millimeter, this stuff's perfect. For really fine mold lines and things like that, I tend to use uh, Mr. Hobby white putty, which you see here. It's not so much white, but more of a cream white. This is very soft stuff, and it's actually really nice, very fine. So it's perfect for um, little detail. And once that's all dry, I generally leave it for 24 hours we can start sanding away and uh, matching it to the body part. But take your time, don't rush the sanding. Um, you can start coarse, but I generally start mid, uh, just to be safe. You don't want to lose detail in, your, in the actual part itself. Try and keep it as localized as you can, and then broaden it out to smooth it out as, as it starts to look like it's working and settling into the shape of the, the part itself. We're just putting all the bits together here, make sure it all fits. If we're happy with the result, we can move on. If you take your time and get to where it's meant to be, you can get a flawless result. And here we're working on the rear wing, gluing that together with Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Wonderful stuff for plastic on plastic. I never use this around painted parts anymore. Again, I think I mentioned this earlier, I see guys only out of Japan using it all the time with absolutely impeccable results. I'd love to know how they do it. They must have a different formula there, I'm convinced. You can see the gaps here, uh, quite, quite significant. Um, bit of sanding required and putty work. And for these large gaps again, using the Tamiya putty, fantastic for that. It's fairly hard stuff and uh, it has a good bonding ability. Again, Mr. Hobby for the more subtle stuff. It's very fine. Anyway, start sanding away, just bit by bit, take your time. Don't overdo one section. You don't want to burn a hole in it. I work my way around just bit by bit. And eventually you'll get to a stage where it really does um, uh, fit quite nice to the shape itself. Once you're satisfied with that, I go to a fine sanding sponge and just kind of finish it off. And that's the end result there.
And we move on to the main body, which to be honest, uh, was quite a nice piece. There wasn't much to do here. Uh, just, you know, the few little bits that attached to the sprue I had to sand off. Once I scuffed it up and cleaned it up, it actually looked quite nice and I got it all ready for painting. The only issue I had was once I put it all together, like you see here, all the bits, make sure it all fits. At the rear here, that section there, it wasn't even close to lining up. I don't know, that might be the case with the actual car. I can't find a reference picture that uh, shows me that, but it's so far out, it's something I just can't fix with a bit of putty. Anyway, we'll leave it as it is. We're gonna move on to painting. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and we'll talk soon.